And the first man on the tee, the first of the 110 competitors, is Fred McLeod. He's 80 years old. He's won the U.S. Open in 1908. And he sends the first drive of the Masters Tournament down the fairway. With him, Jock Hutchinson. He's only 78. He's a former British Open and PGA champion. Traditionally, these two veterans have the honor of leading off the field on opening day each year. Now, here's young Jack Nicklaus, now a pro. He's considered a likely contender this year. Doug Sanders, all serious now, hits it on the first tee. Major David Blair of Scotland, one of the 28 foreign stars in the field. And Big Palmer on the first tee. Oh, he gives it a helping body twist as he gets started on the 62 tournament. Gary Player, defending champion, arrives at the first tee. Ready? And he, too, gives it a little extra wrap and roll. Perennial favorite Ben Hogan preparing to hit his approach shot on the long second hole. Ben's recent good play has made him a pre-tourney threat again this year. Hits onto the green. And he gets a good hand from the gallery. But despite a par here, Ben failed to challenge the leaders at any time. Clouds move over the course later in the day, and at the 18th, Julius Boris comes out of the trap up onto the green. He's low man up to now. Boris needs this seven footer and gets it for a 69, three under par. He takes the early lead. The scoreboard shows the cumulative scores of the leaders. Boris, 69, going up on the side. The red figures show the under par scores, the green over par. Later in the day, the rains have come in, and here comes Arnold Palmer at 18. This was his Waterloo hole of last year. He took six strokes here. Today, he's well up under the green. Has a 25-foot putt for a birdie three on 18. He's over it. Sends it rolling up, up, up. And it disappears into the hole. It's a three. A birdie for Arnold Palmer on the 18th hole and his first round, 70. As the overcast speeds darkness, many of the players still on the course. Here's Gary Player approaching the 18. He's hit a very fine four iron shot in here. He's up there well into the green, bounces, rolls, and he is about eight feet above the hole. The crowd staying here, thrilled by this fine shot by the defending champion. They applaud him, and he acknowledges as he walks up onto the 18th. Now player has a chance for a birdie. Down, down, down. And he gets it. That's his sixth birdie of the day. He's had one bogey. That's a 67 for player, giving him the lead after the first day. After 18 holes, it's Gary Player, five under par. Julius Boris, three under. And Arnold Palmer, two under. Friday, the second day of the tournament, again the players were in groupings of three, and again the crowds were here early. Play was quiet among the leaders on the front nine, player being one over par at the turn, Palmer was one under, and each of them with large galleries. Many of the galleries were out on the course and saw player hit to the 12th green. This holds 155 yards away. Here's player on the tee at number 12. He hits. Carries to the green, bounces twice over the green, stays out of the bunker, and he's just on the fringe beyond. With Dean Beeman and Byron Nelson, player walks up to the 12th green. He's still seeking his first birdie of the round. No birdies yet. He's putting from off the fringe. Sends it rolling down, 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 and it stops. No birdie here. Still seeking that first birdie. But he taps it in for his par. Behind him comes Arnold Palmer. After a birdie on the 10th to go two under, Palmer now hits at number 12. And his shot, like players, seems to be strong. It is, it carries over, over the green. Palmer didn't like it very much. He'd probably like it less when he gets there to see the lie. Charlie Coe playing with Palmer. Arnie's going to have to chip from beyond. Sends it down, strong, it's going fast. 10, 15 feet beyond the pen. 
and he saves it far with a great 15-foot putt here on the 12th hole. Player, his hopes lifted after a great eagle three on the 15th, now faces a birdie putt on 16. He putts, but it's short, short by a foot and a half. So Player will settle for another par. Palmer, meanwhile, is burning up the back nine. He'd birdied 13, 14, 15, and 16. And after a par on 17, he's now at the home hole. Hit a fine drive here on the 18th. Arnold Palmer, five under on this backside with one hole to play. Walks up to the 18th green. He's missed his chance for a three here, but he needs this. Gets it, that's his par, and a 31 on the back nine. That gives Palmer a 66 today. This is the lowest round he's ever scored in the Masters Tournament. After 36 holes, the leaders stand. Palmer, eight under par. Gary Player, six under. Littler, five under. Clear weather for the fourth and final round on Sunday. And the excitement of the three-man chase after Palmer. He's two ahead of Fensterwall, four ahead of Player, and five ahead of Littler. The others in the field are in no great threatening position. Off the seventh fairway, Littler finds himself under the pine trees. His approach shot toward the seventh green catches the front bunker guarding the green. And Finsterwall now hitting to the screen. It's a sloping green. His ball is high. Hits well up into the green, bounces, and goes up toward the crowd. And he's just off the putting surface at the top. Gene gets in the sand. This is a delicate little shot, and he comes out nicely. Right by the top. Down now tries this long downhill putt. Look at it roll. Down, down, down. You know it stops short. And the caddy can't bear to watch. Finsterwall, eight under. Littler, seven under. After par is here. And through five, Palmer is nine under, and player is six under. At the long tenth hole, Finsterwall, now eight under par. His second shot in the bunker, and he comes out nicely, but it bites quickly, and he is going to have a rather long putt if he's going to save a par here on 10. He's over it. Lines it up now, rolls it up, up. Oh, it just gets in. But it's an awful fine four for Dow Fenstrewall here on the 10th hole. And you can bet that Dow is very happy with that one, saving a par. He remains eight under. Through the 10th, there's been a big change now. Palmer took a six at the 10th losing his fourth and fifth strokes of the day to par. He's only six under now, and Gary Player, with two more birdies, is now eight under. On the 11th fairway, Player goes for the green with a three iron. This hole, 445 yards long, and Player's ball looks good. It hits on the front of the green, runs toward the flag, up, 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 and beyond it, but he's only, what, three feet, maybe three feet beyond the hole. Now it's Palmer. He's gambling. He drills his second straight toward the flag over the risky water route, Hits on the front left of the green, runs up. He's hole high, pin high, exactly, but he's about 15 feet away. His gamble almost paid off, and he has a chance at a birdie. Palmer, now behind, sends his birdie putt going down. Down, oh, it wavers and bends off. He's three inches away, and he will have to settle for a four, a par here on the 11th. Taps in the little one and gets his par. And now it's Gary Player who is coming alive. A birdie for Gary Player from three feet. It goes up, around, and in. And Player, with a birdie here, now moves three strokes ahead of Palmer. He's made up eight strokes and nine holes and is now nine under par. On the short 12th, Player hits first. Oh, it's not a good shot. He has hooked it. He missed the green. It's hooked so badly that he's almost out of bounds. He's going to have to pitch out of this deep rough. He's up the bank to the left. And he pitches it out, but, oh, that one is short, too. He did not reach the green. Chipping. Player sends it up by the hole, and that'll cost him a bogey to Palmer's par. And now on the par 5, 13. On this hole, Palmer gets home in two. There he is. He's 80 feet away. An eagle try coming down 80 feet. On, 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 on. But not enough. It stops short. Oh, that quick look of unhappiness. So I mean three putts and a par five here on the 13th. On the 17th, Fenstewall's approach was too long and he now must chip back. Here's his chip rolling down toward the hole. 
but it's going to be short, too. He's six feet short. Gene Littler playing with him has a chance for a birdie. He's seven feet away, puts it up. And it disappears. It's a birdie for Gene Littler on the 17th. Since the wall from six feet missed his par and now has this for his bogey five. A bogey five for Finsterwald. He has picked up a bogey here late in this final round. And the scoreboard shows Finsterwald eight under, Littler seven under through 17. And at the 18th now, Littler short of the green, rolls it up by the hole, five feet beyond. Finsterwald on the green in two is 40 feet away. This is his try for a birdie coming down. 40 feet it's come. And it just goes by. Just by, he tried for the birdie. Here's Littler's try. Oh, it breaks out. He rimmed it. It's costing him a bogey, his second today. He's 282, completed his four rounds of play in the Masters. Now Finsterwall gets it. That's his par on 280. Finsterwall has completed play, eight under. Often that's good enough to win. But he knows a threat remains behind him. And meanwhile, down at the 16th, things are brewing. Arnold Palmer has used a five iron off the tee, and the ball carried through the green. Player hit the green, but Palmer is 45 feet away. Palmer has selected his wedge, and he hits it. The ball is rolling, rolling down, down, 45 feet, toward the hole, toward the hole, and in. It hits up against the flagstick, and Bob Palmer has scored a birdie two, a near impossible shot here. Palmer, with his wedge, from 45 feet has holed out for a two. He's picked up a very valuable birdie here on the 16th. And now Gary Player trying for a birdie also, but he missed the birdie and now he has this putt for his par. Player must have his par to hold still. And through 16, Player with his par is now eight under. That's the same as Spencer Wall who's finished and back at the clubhouse. Palmer is seven under. The crowd moves over to the 17th tee. Uh, many, many thousands who are watching, and back at the 17th green, there are other thousands. And can Palmer keep his hot hand going, or will player get the birdie that ends it? Here's Palmer's approach on the 17th. His second shot, it's an eight iron. It's dead on line. It's over the big trap. It's on the green, and it rolls up 11 feet away. He's 11 feet short. Player had already hit to the green, and he's on. He will have a long putt for try for the birdie, but Palmer is in there about 11 feet. Player missed the birdie, left it close, taps it in for his par. And now the story is up to Palmer. Can he get his birdie? Can he pull even? Here it is. Up. He does. It's a birdie for Palmer on the 17th, and he has pulled even. He is eight under par, the same as Finstewall, the same as Gary Player. And they have one hole to go. Well, Player and Palmer know the score. If one of them birdies this last hole, he wins the tournament. If both par, it's a tie with Dow. And a bogey here means total disappointment. The crowd is ready. Excited but orderly, they move into position to see and let others see as player's approach shot comes toward the final hole. It's a six iron, it's up high, it's long. He's up on the upper back portion of the green. He's about 45 feet away from that little hole. And now here's Palmer. He's hitting a seven iron. Same he hit last year, except this time it's not headed for the bunker, it's headed for the green, it's over the bunker. It's well up into the green. He's on the upper left-hand corner and he's about 30 feet above the hole. Both of them well into this green. There was no danger of sand getting between them here. Player and Palmer, both on the green. Player, 45 feet. Palmer, 30 feet. They walk onto the green, onto the final green, as the big crowd moves into position. Player, 45 feet away from the upper right-hand corner, has surveyed the line, has seen the roll, sends the ball down, down. It's up to the hole, but about three feet to the left. It broke out. Here's Palmer's. 30 feet. It's rolling, rolling, rolling. Will it be enough? No. He is two feet short. Maybe a little more. Arnold would like to have had a little more to that. And Player gets his par here on the final hole. He's in at 280. Now it's up to Arnold Palmer. He has a tricky two-foot putt, two-and-a-half-foot putt, maybe. If he gets it, it's a three-way tie. Finish. What a finish. Palmer and Player both get par fours on the 18th. Exchange congratulations, these friendly enemies. There they come to shake hands. This has been uh, quite a round they've had together. But they'll see more of each other because there's another day of play tomorrow. It's a three-way tie. 
After 72 holes, the score reads Fenster Wall, 8 under, Littler, 6 under, Palmer, 8 under, Player, 8 under, and a playoff tomorrow to decide the championship. Everybody showed up at midday on Monday for the big playoff, a three-way playoff, the first in 26 years of the Masters Tournament. Crowd moving to the first green. Player, his second shot has come in eight feet away. Tries for a birdie right off. And gets it, a birdie for Gary Player here on number one. Finsterwall trying to save a par. He's just outside and it costs him a bogey. So Player jumps into the lead here on the very first hole with a birdie three. Palmer on in two, took two putts and had a four. And Finsterwall a bogey five as play began. On the 190-yard sixth hole, it's Player hitting his tee shot from the distant hill. Despite a bogey on five, Player is still one under par. He had birdies on one and two and a bogey. And here he's hit a very fine shot 10 feet from the hole. He bogeyed the fifth, but now he is one under. They're on the sixth hole. Player leads Palmer by one stroke. He's had straight pars. And he leads Fensterwall by three. He's two over. Here's Gary's try for the birdie. He gets it, another birdie for Gary Player. And now, through six holes, Player is two under par. He's leading Arnold Palmer by two strokes and Dow Finsterwald by four, as they have completed one-third of this final round, the playoff. On the seventh, Player hits to the green. Over the traps, nicely on, and here's Palmer now. His approach, headed toward the green. It looks to be long. He's onto the green, up almost into the gallery beyond. A little too strong. Here he chips down. Ball rolling toward the hole. Pulls up four feet short. Now Gary trying for another birdie. This is a long putt. Up, up, up. Oh, very close. Finsterwald, the bogey here. A moment of contemplation. And now Palmer tries for his par. Slides by. It's a bogey. This is the first bogey for Arnold today. He gets that, and now he's three behind Player. Finsterwall is five behind. Palmer and Player parred the eighth and ninth and moved on down to the beautiful 470 yard tenth. And here's Palmer's second shot. He's using a five iron. He drills it down toward the distant green. Long, long it carries to the front edge of the green, bounces up, and he's 30-some feet away from the hole. Now Player. Player's using a four iron. And it, too, is straight on line toward the shaded green. Beautiful green. Hits well into the green, runs, goes up over, almost into the crowd. Trickles off the backside, and Player is over the green at number 10. His ball rests against some ice cubes. These were upset when some of the fans scrambled out of the way to keep from interfering with play. Gary examines. Of course, he's permitted to remove these. They're obstructions. And he is going to use a putter from just off the putting surface. Will come up a little incline and on, then on down toward the hole. It bounces it along and it rolls five feet beyond. Now it's Arnold Palmer, 32 feet away, three strokes behind. Here's his try for the birdie. Going up, up. Is it enough? Yes, it drops right at the hole. Just reaches, but he falls in for a birdie three. And the game is on. Arnold Palmer, a three. Player over the green, back on five feet away, and the five-foot putt hangs right on the lip. He wants to see if it'll drop. It doesn't. He has to tap it in for a bogey five, and the crowd realizes that a turning point has reached here as Finsterwall knocks in his four. A turn in the match. Palmer has picked up two strokes on player on this one hole, and he now trails him by only one shot. After all got their pars on the 11th, the action moved over to the short 12th. Again, the hole that often decides the winner here at Augusta. Palmer up first on the 12th, has chosen a seven iron. And he hits it toward the green, a high arching shot. Seems to be on target all the way. And comes down. I'll say it's on target. He's three, maybe three and a half feet away from the hole. A very fine shot. Player two hit the green, but 45 feet away, and proceeded to take three putts for a bogey four. 
Arnie taps in his three-footer for a birdie and again has picked up two strokes in one hole. And now he is in front, one stroke ahead of Player. At the 16th, Palmer leads now by three strokes. Player, after a birdie on 15, is up first on the 16th. And player hits toward the 16th green. A fine shot carrying over the water onto the green and seven feet away from the hole. A very fine tee shot. And now it's Palmer. His two looks like a good one. It's sailing straight toward the flag. Up. Comes down a little bit to the right and he backs up. He is maybe 12 feet away. Now trying to protect his lead. Palmer sends it into the hole for a birdie two here on the 16th. He's four under par. He's four under player who misses his bird after seeing Arnold knock in the 12 footer to remain four in front and four under par. Pars on the 17th hole brought them and the crowd to the closing 18th. As the crowd moves into position to see this final hole of the playoff, they move from out on the course to watch Gary Player loft his approach shot toward the home green. It's sailing up over well onto the green and he is coming down 15 feet from the hole. Player 15 feet away. Finch to wall. He's nine strokes behind but he too hits onto this green. A fine second shot on 18. Rolling back down the hill toward the flag. But stops. Palmer sends his shot up. It's a seven iron. Again he is strong with the seven iron. Once more, he made no effort to get close to that trap. He's 35 feet above the hole. You can see this gallery move in as Palmer prepares to putt. It rolls down, down. <gasps> Man, this fellow is still hunting birdies. So is Gary Player. He knows the jig is up, but from 15 feet away, he sends it up and into the hole for a birdie for player on 18. Now for his par four. Dow replaces his ball. This is his fourth stroke. He's even par on the backside after a bad front nine. He gets his four here on the 18th and finishes his round. Now we come down to the final stroke of the 1962 Masters Tournament. Palmer trying for his fourth stroke here on the 18th hole. Gets it, a par, he knocks it in. This gives Palmer a 31 on the back nine for the second time this week. Congratulations all around as Finsterwald, a great player, but off his game today, close to 77. Player with that final birdie shoots his fourth straight 71. And Palmer the Incredible had a blistering 68. Green-coated members of the Augusta National Golf Club meet on the putting green for the presentation ceremony. There are words of praise from Bob Jones and Cliff Roberts, and words of thanks from the three contenders. There's a third green coat for Arnold Palmer, and then his special reward, a champion's kiss from his lovely wife, Winnie. So ends the 26th Masters Tournament in the waning twilight of an historic day in April, 1962.